Okay, my name is Chuck Conkle. I'm going to show you the next uh, few tutorials how to set up the iPad and to teach with the iPad in the classroom. The first thing you want to do is set up an application on your Mac or PC called AirServer. Here's a website for AirServer. You're looking at AirServerApp.com. It's made for Mac or PC. As far as license suggestion, they do have a student and teacher discount column that allow you to install up to three computers or a standard license up to five computers. So depending upon your usage would be dependent on your license that you will get and then also what type of platform you have, Mac or PC. So once it's downloaded and installed, Air Server. Uh, at the top of a Mac, it's going to be here. PC, it's going to be in the taskbar. You'll notice here it says it's going to launch a startup, which it does the same uh, on PC. And what this is doing is using Apple's service called AirPlay to connect to Air Server application to mirror the screen of the iPad, iPhone, or iTouch. Let me go ahead and show you the iPhone first. So here's a screen of the iPhone. To get to that screen to connect to the AirPlay, let me just show you, and it'll be the same on the iPad as well. You double tap the home button, swipe left till you see the AirPlay icon. When you click the AirPlay icon, you'll see all the available AirPlay options. You'll notice at the bottom here it says, with AirPlay mirroring, you can send everything on the iPhone's display to an Apple TV wirelessly. Well, as I'm showing you, you can also send it to Air Server application. But if you do have an Apple TV like I do in this environment, you'll see the option there for Apple TV. So I've connected to my Mac called Conkle iMac, and then the mirroring is on, and now it's sending to my Mac both video and audio. So it is actually recording um, as a recording device as well, my audio. And so if you are walking around the classroom and you have a recording uh, of your screen, like I'm using QuickTime recorder to, to record all this, it's also picking up the audio actually from my iPhone at this point. It could also be picking it up as well from the microphone on the Mac or PC that you're connecting to. So if for instance you did have an iPhone in the classroom and you were connecting to Air Server on your Mac or PC, you can fire up a keynote and actually begin playing that within the classroom environment. And so the slides would be promoted just as they are on a iPad or even on a desktop computer or laptop computer, but you're using your iPhone for wirelessly beaming it basically to the Mac or PC using AirPlay on the iPhone in this instance to Air Server on my Mac to see what you see right now. So that's AirPlay on the iPhone connected to Air, Air, Air Server on the iMac. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my iPhone and connect my iPad. which literally only takes seconds once you learn how to do it and actually start using it in the classroom or in your office to record. So here now I'm connecting to my iPad and now able to go in right into my course delivery, whether I'm using Keynote, um, another application we'll look at, explain everything, teacher, whiteboard, 
So all the different type of application can be used streaming through Air, AirPlay to the Air Server application. So that concludes how to set up Air Server to connect AirPlay on an iPhone or iPad device.